Today I'm proud to present you another watch. I had the chance to infect one of my colleagues with the Seiko Buck and he purchased the Seiko SNZ G15J1, a made in Japan model. Um, first of all, you see the box, the manual or the guarantee card. Um, I recommended him to get it from Creation Watches. That's one of the sites where you can get it for a very good um, price. So that's the manual, by the way. Um, as you know from Seiko. It's one of the famous Seiko 5 sports models made in Japan. All right, this is the, the tag. With the reference number, it's a caliber 7S36 automatic, 23 joules water resistant, up to 100 meters. And my colleague asked me to um, change his watch strap, which um, I'm going to present you live here in this video. And here we go, there it is, um, the Japanese lady, an aviation inspired watch with a day and date function stainless steel case, um, an open case back um, with the hardlex crystal on the front and on the back side. It's a quite reliable movement and nothing special but as you know from Seiko and especially as you know from the made in Japan models um, it's a very precise one. This strap is a, a nylon textile strap which, from my opinion, fits pretty good to this aviation, um, aviation styled watch. Uh, nevertheless, my colleague asked me to change the strap to a brown leather strap, which is also quite nice um, option for, for this watch. Um, here we go. Nice stitching. Quite thick leather strap. A decoder uh, decode leather strap uh, which he purchased from Watch Gecko in UK. Alright, here we go. Um, I have my standard tools to remove the spring bar. It's quite stiff, nevertheless, that's a, a standard procedure. Easy to do and I'm quite excited to see how the new strap will look on, on his watch. Doing this for both sides. And need a little bit more force here. There's not that much space in between the strap and the case. And here we go. Now we can see the watch without any strap attached to it. Now currently you just see my hand in the picture, sorry for that. So I'm entering the spring bars to the new leather strap. Attaching it to one side, holding it tight using my spring bar tool. Now you need to play a little bit around to find a hole. And yeah, here we go. Sometimes not that easy. But a few seconds later you will manage it. So that's attached. Taking the next one, sorry for my hands, it seems like my hand is the star of this video, that should not be the case, the watch should be the star of the video, here we go, same game as before, pressing down spring bar, with my spring bar tool, and that was even easier. Here we go. There it is. A really nice fit as I 
and can confirm a nice case Hardlex Crystal here you can see it in comparison with my King Seiko High Beat from 1973 and that's it bye bye